First impressions are everything, and that is even true with a city, and in this case, four cities. Now, I moved here in 2015, and boy, did I have some first impressions. But now that I've lived here for eight years, some of them have changed and some of them have stayed the same. So here's the plan today. I'm gonna show you every single city, tell you what those first impressions were, and tell you how my views have changed or not changed on each city since I've been living here. So let's hit the road. So where did this idea come from? Well, I actually just recently been invited onto a podcast that is local here. The whole premise behind it is what's it like to be a transplant in the Quad Cities? So that really got me to thinking, you know, what was it like when I first moved here and how can I portray it to you guys? And when I first moved here in 2015, I was an intern for a company called Alcoa at the time and I was new to the area and most of my time was spent between Moline and Bettendorf. So what was the city of Bettendorf like when I first moved here? Well, they were really kind of in a weird funky zone. You know, the big thing was that the I-74 bridge was in the works. It hadn't even got started yet when I first moved here. And the downtown area was being a part of the development going on, but they were tearing down buildings, the construction was awful, and it just really wasn't a place that you wanted to go. And that's one of the first things you see when you come to Bettendorf. So, you know, obviously there's a lot of residential areas going on, but downtown just wasn't a place that anybody wanted to spend any time. So Bettendorf is obviously a smaller town, but now we're gonna head over to Davenport where it is a whole different vibe over there. So let's hit the road and I'll show you as we go along. Now as we're driving to Davenport, you can start to see some of the differences that are in between the two towns. When you cross that border, you don't really see a lot of difference, but as you drive around, you start to get a different sense of what it's like living here in Davenport. Well, from that montage, you're probably starting to form your own first impression of what Davenport is like, but what was my first impression? Well, when I first got here, I was like, whoa, this is a huge city. I don't know where anything is. I just am very lost. And for perspective, I was coming from a town of about 1500 people. So it was a large city for me when I moved here. And the other thing that I really made note of is that it had you know, those city features of entertainment all the time. You know, they have the Bix, which is in the end of July, huge race, very popular, a lot of drinking going on, St. Patrick's Day, another huge drinking event, the Bacon and Beer Festival. You can tell there's a lot of drinking going on. And that's where I was in the part of my life. So I really liked Davenport for its downtown area, that nightlife that it had. And, you know, it did feel very industrial. And also, I felt like it was very historic. You know, the neighborhoods of McClellan Heights, the neighborhoods around Vanderveer are very historic. You see these big old, you know, homes that were built in the 1800s, the seventh, or the 19, early 1900s, and it just felt like there's a lot of history going on. And even the downtown area, it feels like it has a lot of history going on. Over on the east side of downtown Davenport, they call it Bucktown, which is an old term um, where young guys used to go. It was just a rowdy place to be back in the day. And you see that in different aspects all over the city of Davenport. And that was just my first real impression. Okay, so we're going over to Rock Island. It's gonna be super quick. In fact, I can see it where we're headed from right here. So give me 10 minutes and I will catch you on the Rock Island side. 
The goal of this video is not to change your opinion about the Quad Cities or what to think about it, but to give you my perspective. And if you appreciate my perspective and you'd like to know more, I do know these neighborhoods, these cities very, very well, and I'd love to help you find a place of your own in one of these cities. So hit me up. My phone number is down below. Call me, text me, email me. I am the one that answers all of those. But let's get back to the video. And we're back and we made it across the river, not too far away. And uh, we were just over in that direction there. It's kind of blurred out for you, but not too far away over here in Rock Island. And current location is a little park known as Schwieberg Park. And it is a really cool park right out here on the river, but it is in Rock Island. So what was my first impression of Rock Island? Well, Sorry to say, my first impression of Rock Island was it's a party city. And that's really more because of my choices than the city. And the reason for it is that back in the day, the Rock Island district had bars that could stay open later than downtown Davenport. And a lot of times what would happen is that we'd go out, stay till bar closed in Davenport, and then head on over to Rock Island to finish the night out because they are open just a little bit later. So that's my first impression of Rock Island. And it's unfair to Rock Island because Rock Island has a lot more to offer than what is my experience when I first moved here. No, just take a look at how beautiful this park is. It is a lot more than just a party city. All right, let's head on over to Moline and let me tell you about my first impressions of Moline. Let's go. We're at a stoplight right now, but we're actually gonna go over the Rock Island Moline line here soon. So check that out. All right, so here's the Rock Island Moline line. Take a look. What do you think? And now we're in Moline. All right, we made it all the way over to Moline. And uh, kind of a special thing for me because Moline is actually the first, first city that I lived in when I first moved to the Quad Cities. Granted, it was only for about three or four months, but it was still the first place I lived in. In fact, right behind me, up in that corner right there was my apartment. And I got to live right on the river, which was awesome and it used to be called the mills but now it's called the riverfront now everything around here seems to be named around the river but regardless so what was my first impressions of moline when i first moved here well my impressions of moline was there's kind of a hybrid between bettendorf and davenport it has a lot of residential areas but it also has a downtown but it never really felt like that big city that you know davenport feels like so it was really a combination of both things it really just had that small town vibe but with the downtown area. And in fact, that downtown area is one of the main entertainment areas of the Quad Cities as they have, at the time, it was called the Tax Slayer Center. Now it's called the Vibrant or the Mark. So it has all of the big name events. If any musical talent comes to town, that's where they play. And they have Monster Jam, they have rodeos there. They have all sorts of different things that happen in that downtown. But it's never really, to me, felt like that. A big city because you still have all these residential areas that are not you know focused on the entertainment or the business or anything like that so that's what it felt like to me now you're probably curious 
Alex, you didn't go over what you think about the cities right now. In fact, I didn't. So let's rewind the tape and talk about those. Oh, so you thought that I forgot to tell you my current thoughts on Bettendorf. Well, I did not. But what are my current thoughts compared to what I thought when I first moved here? Well, I still think that is a very residential area, but Bettendorf is really trying to push itself and trying to expand. And you can see a lot of the results from that. One of the big things that was just getting started when I moved here was the I-74 bridge, and now it is up. You may be able to see it right behind me here and they actually just recently tore down the old bridge by blowing it up but that really spurred on a full movement to try to make bettendorf's downtown an area that people wanted to be they built the bridges apartments down here they built the tbk bank with some restaurants underneath of it specifically one that's called yoso they've upgraded their city hall that is down here and they are continually upgrading as they go. They have the bike path that is now a part of the I-74 bridge. So it's really cool area. And it wasn't like that when I first moved here, but that is actually the least amount of progression and development that has been going on in Bettendorf. If you go look up north in North Bettendorf, that is where a lot of activity is going on. You know, the Betplex is built. That's what spurred that development on up there. They have, you know, baseball state or baseball fields, they have soccer fields, they have indoor laser tag, they have arcade, they have bowling, they have everything. But because that facility was built, everything else is building up around it. They have big hotels going in, they have local shops going as far as food, restaurants, those sorts of things. They have major chains coming to the area just because of that development that went up there with the Betplex. So my thoughts on Bettendorf is yes, it's a great place to raise a family, a lot of residential areas, but is really up and coming and is getting developed at a faster pace than a lot of the other cities here in the Quad Cities. So I think it's a wonderful place to look if you're thinking about moving to the Quad Cities. But you didn't think I was going to tell you what my first impressions without telling you what I think now. So what I think now is actually somewhat similar, but my views have changed a little bit when it comes to Davenport. So yes, it does feel like a big city, but it's not as big as I once thought it was. You know, it's only 100,000 people coming from a town of about 1500. It did feel huge, but it's amazing how small a city can feel once you understand, you know, where things are, what things are available. The downtown is really only four or five blocks um, to the central downtown. So it's not as big as I once thought it was. As far as it being industrial, yes, I do feel like it is still a very industrial city. You know, there are always moving in new companies particularly up north in North Davenport there's a lot of developments going on up there and it's quite uh, impressive what is being developed up there Amazon just got put in there's a new food processing facility going to be put in so there's a lot going on when it comes to Davenport's development and what I've come to find out is that Yes, the city still has a lot of entertainment. They have all those annual events like the Bix, the St. Patrick's Days, the Beer and Bacon Festival. But as I've been here a little bit longer, I found other venues that don't involve heavy amounts of drinking and I really like it. For example, the Farmer's Market. It's every Saturday right behind me actually. And it's one of my favorite things to go to, but they have ice sculpting events in the winter. They have the um, Christmas market in the winter time as well. So there's a lot of great family events. Red, White and Boom is another one I didn't think of. So really cool that they have all these things going on, but it does feel like a small town more than a big city to me but it has the options of the big city and i think that is a huge positive because i enjoy the community of a small small town but i also like the option to go out and do some of these bigger city type events so i think davenport's a great option 
In my mind, Rock Island is the most changed as far as my first impressions of the city. And again, that's more due to the experiences that I had with Rock Island versus now, I've spent a lot more time over here. And the reason being is that my girlfriend, now my fiance, lived over here when we first started dating. So I got to hang out in Rock Island as more of a city rather than a party town. And the things I've noticed is that it has things like the botanical gardens, which is actually where my reception is gonna be for my wedding. It has things like Shreeburg Park. It's got, you know, the school, the Augustana over there. It's got the district, which yes, that's where all the bars are, but during the day and different times of the year, they have different events that go on there that are family friendly. So it's really a dynamic town and there is a lot going Going on and not only that but they also even have a state park within city limits and that is Black Hawk State Park really cool little park over on the south end of town just not too far off of the Rock River so this is the most changed from my first impression compared to when I moved here and versus now that I live close by and actually have experienced the city now it's time to go over to Moline. We'll see you over there. So what do I think about Moline right now, now that I've lived here for eight years or in the Quad Cities for eight years? First off, take a look at that. That's the channel cat. That's our water taxi coming into port. But uh, my opinion about Moline really hasn't changed a whole lot. I do see it still more as a small town feel with the residential and has that downtown that makes it a little bit more of a city. And really, when you look at the numbers, the population is around 42. Bettendorf is raising up in numbers and there are about 39, so they're getting close. The thing that's different between Moline and Bettendorf is the downtown area is much more of city-like in Moline versus Bettendorf. So it really is that combination hybrid between Davenport and Moline. Now, I've lived here eight years and I now understand what these cities and neighborhoods are like. So if you're really wanting to move here and want to know exactly where you should live, well, hit me up, my number's down below. Text me, call me, email me. I am the one that answers all of those. I'd love to help you out. But for now, check out this video right here as I go over my true honest opinion about the Quad Cities.